guys, so I have finally finished all 12 pages of my Cicada Summer Rough, and I wanted to show them to you guys just really briefly. Um, as soon as I finish this, I'm going to go ahead and scan the remaining four pages and send them over to a friend for critique and try to make some progress on this project today. Um, and today is one of those days where I have a lot on my plate because I just finished a page and I got to get it scanned and I got to get it critiqued and I got to get it printed out on the blue lines. So I'm just really trying to get a lot handled today in order to meet my deadline. But like I said, I wanted to take a moment to show the show these to you. So you may remember this page. We worked on it together. And if you don't remember it, there are two videos that will refresh your memory. They are both in the Intro to Comic Craft pay playlist. So if you enjoy comics, if you enjoy comic art, and you would like to learn how to make your own, you should visit that playlist. But... Um, it is like Cicada Summer Planning and Cicada Summer Roughs, and I recommend that you check both of them out. And this story will have text and dialogue. It just doesn't at this point in time because these are roughs, so you mostly see a whole lot of non-photo blue pencil and a whole lot of perspective grids, and I still do all that by hand because I'm stubborn and I hate myself a little bit. I just don't adapt to new technology. Well, I just take a little longer, I guess. And I do like working traditional. There's something about pencil on paper that I do enjoy. And I guess I fear that if I do my perspective grids digitally, it's going to affect my drawing process because a lot of my perspective grids end up getting changed several times. So I really don't want to attach myself to a grid that would end up not working for me. So that's kind of what's been the hold up here. And you guys can see that many of these pages are incredibly dense cast-wise. There are very few panels that have less than three people in them. So that's been an interesting challenge because comparatively, my other comic, 7-Inch Kara, which you guys can read at 7inchkara.com or 7inchkara.tumblr.com, is much lighter in terms of how many people are on a page. And that's that. So I'm going to see you guys again soon when we're working on our first ink page. I hope you enjoyed this little flip through and I hope it inspires you to make your own comics. Bye guys!